Now is not a good time to be set in your ways. The future's here. Jump on board. The train is leaving the station. Like many American industries, logging has been swept by a wave of automation. But steep mountainsides have remained a last refuge for people on the ground working with their hands. Until now. So if you had two hand cutters cutting and a seven-man rigging crew, that's nine people with at least six or seven of them on the ground, this is replacing those people directly. In that way, what's happening on these Oregon slopes could soon happen all over. The machines may soon replace many of us. The traditional logging that we're all used to is over. Nobody can compete with the latest technology, not if you're doing it the old way. People studying how automation transforms employment generally agree that a vast swath of jobs will soon dramatically change or disappear. Probably in the last five years or so, we've seen these technologies make more progress than they've made in the last 50 years, especially the artificial intelligence part. The worst predictions say 40% of today's jobs could be lost to automation in only a few decades. The challenge remains dealing with the whirlwind pace at which our era's technologies are entering and remaking our jobs. I've been cutting timber for 22, 23 years. I have four kids. They need to learn a different trade. So what will the future of work look like? From here, it looks like a future where careers could become a changing story. You're probably not gonna do the same job you did when you were 20. You're probably not going to do the same job for 40 years. The world is moving too fast right now. The worst thing you can do right now is nothing. Don't be the guy who refuses to look at the future. 